Hello everyone, it's me Chevy from Inectorals. Today, in this video, I will show you how to use any Android smartphone as numpad for Windows, Mac and Linux computer. So, with any further more delay, let's begin. So, right now you can see my Android smartphone. So, firstly, just open the Play Store. And in the Play Store, just search for one application named as Remote Numpad. Just search this application and on the first list you will see application name as remote numpad by Guillaume by it just tap on it you can see here just tap on install to download and install this application firstly so finally we have downloaded and installed in our respective Android smartphone so now let's jump to the respective computer now on your respective computer what you need to do is just open any web browser and in the google search just search for one application name as remote numpad and you will see some websites so here you can see for the google play store so we have already installed in our respective android smartphone right so scroll down more below you can see here the developer website right just click on it now you can just scroll down below if you want to read some details or about the uh, applications and you can just read it so you can see here on the right side release this type just click on it now just scroll down below and under the assets you can see here uh, remote numpad server so right now I'm using a Windows computer so I'll be going to download this windows.msi if you're using a uh, and if you're using a Mac computer, then just you can scroll down below and you can search for this .dmg for your Mac or Apple computer. And if you're using a Linux, then you can just download the source code .dz. So here I'll be gonna download the Windows.msi. So firstly, let me download it. Now go to the folder where you have downloaded the applications. Now just double left click it to run the installer. Click on next. Click on I accept the agreement, license agreement. Click on next. Click on next. Click on install. Wait for a few more seconds until the complete installation is done. So finally you can see on the desktop screen the application has been successfully installed. So before running it, you need to install one more application. So for this, just open the any web browser and in the Google search, just search for one application name in Java Runtime. You will see its official website, java.com. Just click on it. Now just scroll down below. You will see a different operating system installer like window for Windows, for Mac, and for Linux. So you can download any one of this either you want the offline installer or the online installer and if you're using a 64-bit then you can download a 64-bit and if you're using a Apple or Mac computer then you can just choose this download option or if you're using a Linux then you can choose different Linux flavors so I've already downloaded and installed it so I'm not going to do it again so you firstly download and install this too then after that what you need to do is just double left click this remote numpad which we have install few minutes ago so you will see on the tray icon as you can see here tray icon just double left click it now you can see the socket wi-fi and the bluetooth server is already ready so now let's move out to our android smartphone now on my android smartphone just open or launch the SAM application report numpad as you can see on my Android home screen. Just tap on it. Now you can see the numpad user interface. So above you can see a connect, right? So before clicking on the connect, you can see a three dot icons on the right top corner. Just tap on it. And you can see your settings. Now under here you will see some connection interface, right? So here by default it's only a socket Wi-Fi. So I highly recommend you to turn on the Bluetooth firstly and 
and after that just click on refresh and now click on the connection interface now you can see a Bluetooth option right just tap on the Bluetooth now below you can see a host right so click on the host and right now you can see I've already paired before with my laptop that is my HP 630 notebook I'll just select it so I've selected it and I'll just move back now in my computer as you can see the Bluetooth server is ready when the socket Wi-Fi is ready so if you have not paired with your respective Android device then I'll highly recommend you if you have not paired with using a Bluetooth then I'll highly recommend to click on the Bluetooth icon that is available on the tray menu and after that you can see your add Bluetooth device so firstly get paired with your respective computer along with your Android smartphone as I've already done this before so I'm not going to show you it again so you just add a Bluetooth device and pair your respective Android smartphone with your respective computer using a Bluetooth firstly then after that what you need to do now on your smartphone you can see a connect option right on the left side just tap on the connect wait for a few seconds now you can see in the computer also there is a message written a client connected that means you can see in the Android smartphone also connected as well as in your computer client connected so let us open any application or a notepad so let us type anything a number like one two three four five six seven eight nine so you can see I have type a number using my Android smartphone not my using my computer keyboard so you can use your Android smartphone as a numpad in this way so you can put the enter also and you can try like plus nine plus six whatever you like use like a calculator right so it will be very useful to use your Android smartphone as a numpad wirelessly if you're in a need of a numpad for your respective computer so this is a very cool tricks and very useful applications to definitely try it out by yourself so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching